Hello, Vault Dwellers. Welcome back to another video with me, Sovereign. I'm just cranking these damn things out like crazy. There's just so much good content in this game, and I just don't want to leave you guys out of it. But, here you see in this video, I'm actually in the middle of a quest. I did in a previous video mention how to find the Railroad. It's a uh, faction group, basically, that, again, potential spoiler warning. You've been warned. It is a faction group that uh, basically takes pity on synths. More namely the version 3 or gen 3 synths that are more human and in fact part organic and part they're androids basically they're part you know organic and part robot but there are gen 1s and 2s as well but they uh, they're more concerned with the gen 3s because again they're more human but nonetheless I'm currently in the middle of a quest with them once you have found them like I showed you in a previous video regarding that you'll get a quest from a guy Deacon and I'm actually in partaking in that quest right now and coming up to uh i'm right next to the corvega plant and actually a super mutant behemoth kind of wandered in i don't really know how but so we're working on fighting him but what i'm going to show you today is some really really great stuff first and foremost after this clip and is done rolling and we move on to the next one i'm going to show you guys where to get the luck bobblehead which will permanently increase your luck by one point which luck is a big deal in this game it affects everything critical hit chance a uh, chance of finding better items uh, bottle caps it affects your recharge rate of critical hits it affects so many different things in this game and I'm not sure if it's like other fallout games but in other fallout games your luck would also slightly raise any and all other stats very little but stats don't work the same way in this one so I'm not sure if that's how it works but nonetheless, guys, first I'm going to show you where to find the Luck Bobblehead, and then we're going to come back to mid-quest where I'm at right now, basically, and I'm going to show you guys how to find some really, really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. So, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so if you manage to find Spectacle Island, there it is. It's uh, a significantly far distance away from Sanctuary, as you can see. Uh, but it's not too far from the castle. So if you get to the castle, I mean, really, it's just a swim away. But you'll see me on the far south side of the island there, and you'll find this boat. Jump your way up to the top deck, and there you go. You find a luck bobblehead within a locker. Again, your luck has been permanently increased by one. And somebody did ask me, and it is true, if you have the bobbleheads on a stand or the skill magazines on a rack, you still get those bonuses. You retain them. But anyway, back to what we were doing. Right here where I'm at, I'm in the middle of the Gorski Cabin, Walden Pond, Starlight Theater, Rocky Meadows Park, right in the center of all of that. You see where I'm at here. And again, you'll come here for the quest itself. So really, if you start the quest with the railroad, you should not have a hard time finding it. But here we have a uh, legendary Rad Roach. We get the Exterminator Raider chest piece. It reduces damage from Mire Lurks and Bugs by 15%, which is pretty good. Pretty good. And then within the same facility, we find Whistling in the Dark. It is a uh, U.S. Covert Operations Manual that permanently increases the difficulty of enemies detecting you while you're sneaking. Still within that same area, the rest of these clips will be. Moving on. At some point in the mission, you will get this, but you have to select to go through the hidden tunnel, the secret tunnel option when you get to that point. Go through the secret tunnel, and you'll get the Deliverer. This is actually a really cool weapon, and it's the only one of its kind in the entire game. It is highly modifiable, so I recommend you check it out. I will show some footage of it here in a minute. And... Where is it here? There it is. So there's the deliverer. I'm taking... It, I'm going to use it in place of my normal 10 mil. My 10 mil does do more damage than it right now. Uh, but you can increase the damage pretty significantly. I'm able to unlock everything to upgrade this gun with. So I can bring it up to the maximum damage. And I will show you guys that here momentarily. But while you're sitting here running through things and looking around, you find hazmat suits. And these are amazing. They give you 1,000 rad resistance. 1,000! So go get them. You definitely want to do this quest because you're going to walk out of here with tons of great items. Really, really good items. Especially those radiation suits. That's amazing. Super useful. There's also a mini nuke in here. And you've got a couple stealth boys in here. 
And then we've got Carrington's prototype, which is the whole reason that you're even coming here. Now, I don't know what this is for yet, because I haven't completely finished out this quest yet. But obviously, it's important. So, let's show a little bit of uh, the gun itself in action here. Uh, once you picked up the gun and you kind of gotten the prototype and you've done all the things that you need to do, of course, you will then be attacked. It's pretty, you know, pretty standard game kind of stuff. And so now is my first time to uh, use this pistol, which, again, I really like. I love the look of it. I like the nice round silencer on it. <laughs> it just looks like a nice classic little pistol. I really enjoy this one. It does fire 10 mil rounds. Watch out for those landmines, by the way. They are cryo mines. And uh, unfortunately, my poor friend here, he got he got caught in them. So he's coming. We just got to wait for him to thaw out. <laughs> and there he goes. All right, so now we're going to use this bad boy on some synths. This place is overrun with synths, so you have a good chance of finding some synth armor here. Now if I could get my aim on. There we go. Two shots for these particular synths, which is not bad at all. And I mean, I haven't upgraded it at all yet. But let's go ahead and upgrade this bad boy a little bit. What do you say? So here we are. I'm, I've got everything unlocked for it. So powerful receiver, advanced receiver. We've got 60 damage with the advanced receiver. Extended barrel increases the accuracy, of course. Then we've got the sharpshooter's grip. More accuracy increase. Now, I, just, I chose the quick eject mag, not the large quick eject mag, only because I think it would ruin the look of the gun, personally. Some glow sights, and then, of course, the suppressor. And uh, here is the final product. It does do 60 damage, which is really not bad at all. So if this video was helpful, you guys, please do hit that like button, share it, and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you guys very soon. Take it easy.